All right, it was fast and furious, but there's the chariot. You can see it's uh, not easy riding back in here, but this is the first uh, video with the new Battlestar. And uh, imagine my dismay, I did not know this campground is only open from a October 15th to April 15th. But that's not going to prevent me from trespassing. <laughs> so let's go back here and take a look at the campground. That's what, uh, and this, uh, we'll have to see how this turns out. It's first video with the, with the new phone. Um, you guys give me a thumbs up if you think the video quality is a little bit better than uh, what it is, what it used to be with the old Samsung uh, Galaxy S20 Plus. This is the 21 Ultra. Um, I mean, I, I, I definitely like this phone. I mean, I've only had it for a couple of days now. Boy, I tell you, it's converting over to a new phone is just a, a nightmare, even, even though I'm just going from one Samsung to another. Uh, you know, somebody told me the iPhone has a better camera, but I find that hard to believe. I mean, this, this Ultra, uh, well, geez, I guess it's got like five cameras, you know. So we're just doing the super steady mode like uh, I'm, I'm used to doing, but I got a lot to learn. That's for doggone sure. But, uh, so we'll get back here and, uh, and I want to show you the campground. I think it's, uh, it'd be a wonderful place uh, if you live in the villages or live in central Florida to come and camp. So you can see here, camping fee is uh, $10 per site. I guess if you got an RV, you got a dumping station. Uh, it's called the Big Bass Campground. Uh, and, and that's pretty typical. You can only stay 14 days. Um, that's because there are people that just uh, actually live in the campgrounds, you know, and they'll just go from campground to campground. Um, <clears throat> but normally not <clears throat> for $10 a night. They uh, they always hit the free, free campground. So... Um, Let's uh, let's just walk around and get a video. I mean, it's a it was a haul getting here, you know. That's why I actually wore the helmet today. I don't usually wear the helmet on the motorcycle. I just put goggles on, uh, which I know kind of look stupid, <laughs> but you know I'm an idiot anyway. So anyway, um, <clears throat> but you're kind of getting a feel of the campground. I mean, you're you are back here. This is the Akala National Forest. See right here. Look at that. Something's been been pooping in here. Uh, not sure if that's bear poop or what, but, uh, the campsites are really, really nice. Uh, I'm just going to kind of walk around and, uh, if I see anything, uh, interesting or actually, I'm actually looking for what would be the best site. You know, there's nothing better if you're going to go camping than to walk a campground because you can kind of, you know, if you're just going to drive around it, you're not going to get a feel for what's there. So here, let's check this out. Aluminum cans only. That's good. Looks like they do some recycling. Uh, no washing. Now here's some some. You got some water. I don't know if it's potable or not. Uh, but let's uh, let's just tool around and uh, see what we see. So just wanted to kind of show you a couple of the campsites. Uh, you know, they're in a little disrepair. But you know, one thing uh, I've never quite understood, now uh, the um, national forest campgrounds are a bit better than state forest campgrounds, but, but look at this. You got a campsite here and a campsite there. Now I'm in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> you know, why, why are you gonna put campsites so close together? And, and, and also the question, the, the begs the question, why is the campground closed? You know, to me, that makes no sense. Now, this, see, this one here looks like a really nice campsite. You notice that the next campsite's way over here, okay? And, you know, if you pull it in here, you could probably put your tent back there, get, get you know, get off the road a bit. Uh, so I, you know, number one, I don't understand why the campground's closed. And you see this quite often at the National Forest Campgrounds. It's like, what do we pay taxes for, huh? <clears throat> they can't even open up the campgrounds. Um, well, you can see the rednecks have been here. <laughs> Beer cans and bottles on the ground. But we're going to, I bet these are locked. But I'm going to check out the bathroom <clears throat> arrangement here uh, as we come in. Um, 
let's just take a look. Uh, actually, we'll get out and we'll hike those uh, dirt roads. I uh, can't ride the... I mean, I could try to ride the motorcycle down them, but uh, what's the point? I got to get my exercise. Yeah, these clothes for public safety. Imagine that. Oh, COVID's blowing around in the forest here, people. Oh my God. We got to, we're going to die. We're going to die. Oh no, oh no. It's blowing. It might probably blew in off of that bathroom there. Woohoo. Fachi, the Fachi God. Oh, please. Everybody look out for the Fachi God. Now this is why you walk a campground before you camp. Talk about awesome. This campsite would be incredible. I mean, talk about being out here by, I mean, even if the campground was packed. I mean, look at this. You're back in the woods. I mean, uh, this is what you look for. I mean, I, I, when I used to camp in Canada before it became a communist nation, um, I'm going to tell you, there was sometimes I would find these amazing campsites. Uh, the best one was I had a, a view of the, the lake and I put the tent up like, you know, boy, you could put the tent back in here maybe. Uh, you got your fire pit here. Of course, I wouldn't use that grill. <laughs> you know, but, but I mean, look at this. This would just be awesome, man. Uh, well, hell, you could you could put the tent back in here too. Oh my God, this is, I tell you what, that's just probably the campsite that I'm going to come and camp on, hopefully this winter, assuming the campground opens up. Because uh, I mean, look, you, you know, you you basically by getting this campsite, you've got all of this to yourself. It would be incredible. I don't know. I mean, I this this to me would be the cat daddy. Now let's see what the sign says here. Do not enter. <laughs> well, guess what? Let's enter. <laughs> you know me, I obey all laws, you know. Gotta obey the Fachi God. You guys obey the Fachi God, the Fachi God. So I really don't know why it's saying do not enter other than this could possibly be private property, probably. But uh, I'm really literally just walking right back up to the 42 here. Um, and uh, what's cool, I mean, if you walk down from that campsite, you gotta, I'll show you here in a second, there's a pond right back there. Boy, I tell you, you know, people are so disgusted. Look at, look at all the trash and stuff that just gets thrown around, you know. I guess that's a bumper off of a car. I, you know, you'd think they would uh, uh, do something with it. But see that yeah there's 42 so the one bad thing about that campsite is you would probably get some road noise um you know who knows this might lead back well i can't believe it i mean if this is a private road uh maybe it leads it looks like horses have been in here so yeah this could be uh could be something hope i don't get shot <laughs> which is always a possibility here in Florida when you trespass on somebody's property. But I can't believe that they wouldn't have had people do what I'm doing uh, that have stayed at that campground. Um, so, uh, like I said, we're just out. Uh, but here's, a, here's that pond area that I was talking about. Boy, I hope the, the video quality is as good as what I'm seeing on the phone here. I, I think we've stepped up the game here, people. Um, could be. Uh, well, I'm just going to hike down this road and then then I'll get back to the campground. I don't think there's much more to see there uh, It just kind of loops around. I think we found the best campsite and uh, You know, obviously uh, You can't camp here because I think I'm on private land um, You know, it's kind of a kind of weird, you know, I mean what in the world, you know, you see this so here's a well, Let's go down here Here's a, some sort of marker sign. I mean, it almost looks like a trail, you know? And I, I was seeing hoof prints up back there. So it looks like horses ride through here. Closed area for resource protection, foot and horse travel permitted. Now, nah, there you go. All right, so we're good, we're good. Uh, so this is, uh, evidently, this is where people come and ride horses. So I'm, I maybe I'm not trespassing on somebody's personal private land here, 
Uh, and in fact, we, maybe we're going to get a hike on an actual trail. That'd be impressive, wouldn't it? Never expected this. Boy, you can see the horse uh, prints. Uh, they've been back in here recently. Oh, by the way, the weather. Oh, my God. Finally broke. I forgot to tell you guys. I mean, we've been having rain, 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 thunderstorm after thunderstorm after thunderstorm. So today, I mean, it's actually, it's not even 90 degrees. I mean, and, and if you live in Florida, it feels like, <laughs> it feels like winter time <laughs> when you don't have a, a hundred degree uh, temperatures and, you know, high humidity and everything, you know? So, uh, well, you can kind of see what I'm seeing. Really a remarkable day. I never even thought that I would get out here on a horse trail and hike it. Now, this is kind of tough hiking in this sand, um, you know, but uh, I've never seen anything advertised about this trail or, or where we're at. Um, I don't know how far I'm going to get today. Uh, the sand is quite deep. Um, so got the heart rate up. That's good. That's good. All good. All good. And uh, I guess uh, we may be coming to an end here. Well, no. So we'll keep on going if, uh, if the scenery changes. I'll, uh, I'll be sure and uh, spark, spark up the video again. And then, of course, I want to get another couple of clips back at the uh, campground. Um, now, the grass is getting kind of deep here, so I'm a bit worried about wood ticks and fleas. And So that's why you do a trial run with everything. The phone just overheated. I've never had that problem with the uh, S20 Plus. So uh, I don't know. For making videos in Florida, it could be this phone's just not going to work. Just wanted to show you what I'm seeing, you know. And now we're kind of diving back into the forest. Uh, I mean, this could be a game breaker because it's not hot today. I mean, it's it's hey, you know it's Florida. It's always going to be somewhat hot, but I mean, there's no reason for this phone to have overheated like that. Um, so we'll see what happens. Uh, we're just following along this trail going wherever it goes who knows uh quite beautiful you know this is why i get out and just do stupid stuff like this um i'm gonna cut the phone off and let it cool down but boy if that's uh if that's going to be a pattern i don't know how i'm gonna well, i guess we i still got the other phone i haven't traded it in yet and uh i may just take it with me on the trip um you know because uh, i get uh, i get a good trade in on it but do you really want to trade it in if this phone you know if it's if this one's going to overheat i may end up going back to the s20 plus uh who knows i mean i at some point i do got to get a book gopro um you know but uh you know it's a, i'm not made of money people i can only do so much uh but i can see you know this kind of horse trail that's it's just kind of wandering around So the phone overheated again. This is not good. I don't know, but you can kind of see. I, well, I thought the trail was coming to an end. Maybe we can work our way through here. I should have brought the walking stick, but I didn't know I was going to be getting a hike. I thought I was just going to show you the campground. And, uh, you know, it turned into a hike here. Uh, beautiful hike, actually. Um, I can't believe that this isn't on any map or whatever you know uh you'd think that uh this would be a, a site that people would want to see i'm sure the phone's going to overheat here again this is uh i'll have to call up um well good good luck with technical support i can tell you that check the bird out going across the uh the, the marsh there i think this is supposed to be a trail but uh probably hasn't been maintained in quite some time and you know, I don't like hiking in this deep grass uh, just because, of, mainly because of the bugs. I'm not worried about snakes, uh, but I am worried about ticks and uh, fleas and chiggers. You know, I'm tired of, I'm tired of scratching my ankles, people. It seems like no matter what I do, the chiggers get me. Um, so let's just uh, pause right here. Um, I don't know. I'm, the jury's out on this new phone. You know, I'm just used to the old phone. Anytime you get a new piece of uh, technology, it's always a learning curve. And then of course you got to configure it. Every time I cut this thing off, it wants me to swipe and 
to all the security features, you know, which I cut off on the old phone because I just need to go in and out, in and out. But uh, you can see that the uh, the trail is continuing. Um, not a footprint. <laughs> There's not a single footprint. Uh, just horses, uh, looks like, for this trail. Um, and I can understand it. it. It's a tough hike. Certainly wouldn't want to be back here on a hot, humid day. Uh, luckily, the uh, the grass has gotten down here. So I'm going to keep going. Oh, check a snake out. Holy shit. Look at the size of that fucker. Holy moly. We got to get him on the video. That looks like a python. Holy moly. Look at the size of that thing. My goodness. Can you see it on the video? I hope that is a monster. Wow. That's the biggest snake I think I've seen since I got to Florida. Holy moly. Uh, hopefully he's on the video here. We'll leave him alone and just keep on going. Um, maybe we can get him from this side. Check him out. He's uh, he's just sitting there. Probably going, what, what's this guy going to do? Is he going to try to kill me? Look, oh, that's a, I guess that's a, looks like a rattler on the bat to tail there, huh? Doesn't that look like a rattler? Could be. I don't know. I won't know till I look him up on the, the internet. He's scurrying off into the woods there. All right, let's uh, let's keep on going. Ever seen that movie, It Crawls? Imagine a handful of them on you. Because It Crawls, you wouldn't want one of them biting you. I can tell you that. I think I'm going to turn back at this point. I really was just planning to hike those, uh, those dirt roads. Uh, you know, we've, we've, we've seen ants, we've seen a snake. I mean, I, and I'm not prepared for anything. I don't even have my walking stick to defend myself with because I was just going to show you the campground. I, you know, it's a, a hike again is not the one you expect. How many times have you heard me say that? Um, but you can kind of see, well, you know what, maybe we'll just keep on. It looks like the trail's going to head back right here. I don't know where it goes this way. Maybe someday we'll come back and... and hike all of this I mean this wasn't the day I had planned you know I was just gonna hike those dirt roads and uh, show you the campground um, and then of course I didn't anticipate the phone overheating the way it is uh, but uh, you know you when you're way out here in the Akala forest like this and you're just ill prepared for uh, for a hike like this uh, well we got a sign coming up let's just see if it tells me anything I don't see any writing on it or or what uh, let's take a look at this side boy you can tell it's <laughs> it's overgrown what does it say it says for resource protection the area beyond this sign is closed to uh something closed to motorized vehicles okay so it's closed to motorized vehicles but you're okay to hike around so this is how they get the horses in here i guess this looks like a parking area uh, I don't have a clue where I'm at. I have a clue how to get back. <laughs> you know, but you can see the the horses have come through here. Man, I tell you, you get out here and you just discover all kinds of crazy stuff. Uh, I, I don't see any vehicle tracks. They do have these posts right here. I guess that's to keep motor vehicles from back going back in the forest. And trust me, there are some... Uh, rednecks here in Florida that would want to take their uh, four-wheel drive vehicles back there and just tear everything up for sure I'm gonna try to get back going this way I I don't know I don't know if <laughs> you know, I'm gonna end up in Timbuktu so I am somehow gonna have to configure this phone it's driving me bat crazy um, but you can see we just came down that um, so I am on my way back to the campground, which is good. Uh, it's more or less like a road right here. Uh, so we just kind of did a loop, uh, which is good. That's a good thing. I mean, you know, this. I mean, it's a horse trail. Uh, you know, wasn't a bad hike. Uh, you know, other than snakes and ants and probably bears and wild pigs back here, and I don't even have a walking stick to defend myself. <laughs> because <laughs> I'm an idiot you know that you people know that that cybersecurity guy is a complete fool but I do know I can hear the car traffic I'm pretty sure this is winding me back 
towards the road at least and then we'll get back in the campground and then we'll hike some of those dirt roads and uh and get some exercise today but at least i know where i'm at now um i was a i was a little worried uh you know because <laughs> and i don't even have a compass either oh my god you guys gotta love these videos all right let's keep on going yeah i gotta work on the setting so the road more or less just brought us back to 42 you could hear the car noise that's how i knew and I was probably going in the right direction. So I'm winding my way back. There, yep, there's the bumper. Uh, so we're, we're winding our way back to the campground and uh, we'll get some more video there and then hike around on the dirt roads and then I gotta get home before it gets dark. I got a late start today. Uh, you know, it's tough. I'm trying to back everything up on Rumble now uh, just because somehow my videos disappeared off of my backup devices and my wife can't explain that, but uh, neither here nor there, I can always download them from YouTube, but at least right now before they ban me. Um, you know, and this will go up on YouTube also. Uh, but uh, I just know that uh, they don't like conservatives on YouTube, that's for doggone sure. And uh, I'm sure, you know, when I call him the Fachi guy, that uh, probably offends uh, YouTube. So let's, uh, let's get a video well, hello, we're back in the campground. So I'll, I'll wait till I see another good campsite and uh, we'll get a video there. And that'll be the last one for the campground probably. And then we'll get on those dirt roads and get some exercise. Cause I don't mind being out on a dirt road where all I got to do is turn around <laughs> and go back. But when I'm out in the Ocala National Forest with fleas and ticks and chiggers and hiking down uh, trails, I have no idea where they're going. You know, that's a, that's a whole different ball game, but yeah. We already saw this campsite, so let's get going. So it's not always just about uh, tent camping. I'm sure this is uh, made for an RV to back in. Be nice, the bathroom's just right over here. Uh, I don't know why they have these posts here. It says boundary, I guess, to keep you from driving vehicles back into there. Um, but I wanted to show you the RV site because uh, that would be a nice place to, to bring a a mobile home um you know these because uh, it's more or less tent camping in here for well i mean you could put an rv in here look at that so uh you know it's uh this thing i like uh you see how you got the site over here and you got this site here and you got trees in between that's the beautiful thing about these uh national uh uh take water to campsite protect water source i'm not sure what that means but I mean, uh, that's the beautiful thing about these uh, national forest campgrounds is uh, most of the time they do space out the campsites and you've got some privacy. Uh, boy, when you get into the state forest campgrounds, they just want to make money and they pack the sites in. And you're in there like a sardine next to the, the screaming kids next door, you know. Uh, you could come here in October. I mean, I might, uh, I'm hoping to anyway, and uh, and stay for for. You know about a week or so and enjoy being out here i mean you can see there's some trails around to to hike that the well those are horse trails but i mean they it was tough hiking uh i don't know what this building is here uh i suppose that's a bathroom i'm gonna walk around it and see what what what's what and uh we'll keep on going see like right here you would never you know this is why i walk these campgrounds before i stay you know you would never want to camp here because look at this, a car coming down here, the headlights are going to shine right onto you. You know, that's why that one campsite that I showed you where we did the trail would be outstanding. Um, so we'll, we'll keep on going, but boy, this is a really beautiful place. I'd, I've been back here just kind of driving around it in my car. I just I had never walked it or, uh, or ridden my motorcycle out here. So let's keep on going. So if you didn't know I'm an idiot, <laughs> <laughs> You're learning the hard way. Uh, I, th I, th I thought this sign was pretty cool. Safe camping bear country. Keep your campsite clean. And then it just goes on to talk about, I'll let you pause right there and read it. Uh, you know, more or less uh, people, I mean, you know, when, when you're out here in the national forest like this, uh, you know, you if you got any food, just keep it in the car, you know. Uh, you know, I understand. And then if you don't have a car or somebody takes the car. Let's see if these restrooms are open. I, I don't see the Fachi sign on the door. That's a good thing. Uh, nope, they're locked, that figures. 
That makes sense. Uh, so anyway, um, uh, you know, if you're, you know, backpacking, they usually have a bear pole. I'm surprised. I haven't seen a single bear pole in here. And if you don't know what a bear pole is, it's just something that you can uh, uh, pull your your food way up a pole and hang it way up in the air. And that way, uh, you know, the next day you're, but that's, you know, that's more or less for backpacking. This is camping here. So, you know, just keep it in your car. Uh, and then like, like the sign said back there, you know, if you got food on you, <laughs> the bear is going to mistake you for a meal. <laughs> so, so luckily uh, we didn't see any bears here today. Another great campsite. Look at that. And I'm on my way out and uh, we're going to get on the dirt road up here. Uh, hike around for a while, get some exercise and, uh, and that's it. I just wanted to show you this campground. I think it's a pretty cool place. Uh, if you want to come out, uh, 40, it's just straight out 42 from the villages. Uh, just as you see the sign that says Akala National Forest, uh, you'll see the camping sign and then uh, you go down a dirt road about mm, half a mile to get to this campground. Uh, I was able to ride my bike on it so it wasn't, the sand wasn't too deep, um, you know, so, uh, but uh, I'm not here to, to ride the motorcycle. I mean, I am, I enjoyed the ride out, but I am also uh, trying to get some exercise. There's the chariot waiting for me. So we've seen the campground. Uh, well, I'm going to hike back this way, check check out down this road and uh, see what this looks like. And uh, But I don't know if I'll make a, any more video. Um, maybe there's a whole another section to the campground here. I think maybe this is just a dumping station. Uh, kind of looks like it. So anyway, you guys, uh, peace out. I'm going to get on the road and uh, we'll get a video on the dirt road. I'll, I'll be a lot safer there. Than I was hiking down the uh, <laughs> through through unmarked territory. All right, boy. If you were homeless, this is the dumping station. It says clean water. So I thought, well, you know what? I wonder. You know, if I was really thirsty, check it out. The water is actually on. I'm surprised. You know, I would have thought they'd have some sort of shutoff valve because all it takes is some redneck like me to come back here and uh, cut the water on. Next thing next thing you know, they're wasting a whole, probably well water though, be me my guess, so I guess it might not cost anything. Um, but boy, that's good to know. At least uh, if I'm out this way in the Akala National Forest and I'm dying of thirst and I didn't forgot to bring a water bottle, I can always go to that uh, station here. Look at this, more trash trash everywhere uh, and, uh, and and get a drink of water good to know all right so we're, we're gonna get on the dirt road uh, getting a little long in the tooth on the video I realized that uh, so it, uh, but I wanted to show you the campground I mean this really close to the village this be a great place to come and just uh, hang out for a few days when the weather is decent I mean hell it, it, it this is great camping weather right now uh, so I'm going to get some water out of the motorcycle and uh, start hiking down the dirt road. Well, I got used to the old phone. I'm going to have to work on the settings on this thing. But I thought I'd get this quickly on the video. Uh, this is called the Big Bass Campground in the Ocala National Forest. And, you know, I mean, I understand that I haven't been back here in a while. But look, I mean, why don't they just pick up the trash? I mean, uh, somebody obviously dumped a car seat there. I don't know why. You know, we've got lots of places around here to take your... And, uh, you know, I've seen cans, litter. People are such filth. And look look at this. What the hell is that? I guess that might have been a something. Firework, maybe, and a kid's toy. But anyway, so we're... Uh, I'm just going to hike down this road for a while. Um, not much to see. You can see there's a vehicle down there. Uh, coming up this way and that's what I was talking about I mean it would be tough to take the Toyota Prius Prime back in here uh, although you could do it and I could ride the motorcycle too the grass the sand is not too crazy but I'm just in, into getting a hike I'm not really into um, uh, riding the motorcycle at this point I got a long ride on the motorcycle going back so I'll get plenty of a motorcycle riding on that so uh, it's all good um, but anyway, this is this is it. This is the day I had planned. I'm just gonna get my exercise now. 
Uh, if I see anything interesting along the road, uh, we'll get some more video. But I think this is probably the end of the video. Let's uh, let's give it uh, the old uh, freedom, all oh, freedom. Peace out. So maybe uh, during the winter, this is a hiking trail because you've got a sign back here uh, that it's closed to motor vehicle use, and they've got these posts here. So maybe this is some kind of trail. Now here comes a guy coming out of that road there with a jet ski. So maybe there's a body of water back in here somewhere. Uh, shoot, why don't I go up and hike down that road? Because we're just going down this way. I want to see where in the heck he just came from. Let's get going. So this is where that vehicle came out. I didn't even really see that this is a road. I tell you, that's what the, that's why the locals, man, they, they know where everything is, you know, and. And you get into the, the villages and the city slickers like me and, no, and nobody could tell you that this road existed, I'm sure, unless you live in the area. Although I hate to see that. See what I'm talking about with these plastic bags? Garbage everywhere, you know. And that's why I, I use my own bag. Here's, look up here, more more plastic bags. Uh, like somebody, it looks like somebody just dumped a whole load of trash here. That's just, that's the thing I hate, man. People are so disgusting pigs, you know. Um, and you know who's going to come back here and look at this uh, trash bags right here? I mean, come on, man, people, you know. But we're gonna we're gonna go down this road. I want to see with well, a jet ski. There must be a body of water, and uh, I don't know if we'll get to it. Uh, it doesn't. It's kind of a you wouldn't. You'd have to have four wheel drive to get back here for sure. No way I could bring the Prius through here, nor would I want to. Look at this. Huh. Wow. Crazy, crazy little hike today. Uh, but that's, you know, that's what you got to do. Oh, look, check out, man. Check him out. Oh, my God. That's a frog. Look at him. Oh, okay. Well, hopefully we got him on the video. So, kind of crazy. I don't know what, where that vehicle, like maybe he was just exploring. But uh, obviously the road has come to an end. I mean, I don't know. Where would you go? Be a great place to camp. I mean, you know, just come back here and throw a tent up at the end of this road uh, if you didn't want to stay at the campground. I mean, because the campground's closed right now, so you, unless you're going to hike in there with a backpack. But yeah, you could bring a four-wheeler back here and... Uh, camp in the forest this wouldn't be a bad place to go uh i guess i'm heading back to the dirt road and uh who knows maybe maybe we'll get another video maybe not all right peace out y'all well i wanted to get this on the video hopefully you can kind of see this would be uh this is four-wheel drive territory you know no way i could get the motorcycle through here or or certainly the prius prime so, uh, you know, if you were going to come back here and explore, I could probably, you know, we got that Kia Sorento. I'm sure that would get through here just fine. But uh, this is this is what I'm talking about. This is why I'm just hiking today rather than trying to ride the... Because I would love to explore this on the motorcycle. Don't get me wrong. I mean, this is why I bought it. But I, I just can't drive it in this deep sand. Uh, I just, I am not a good enough rider to control it. Um, so... This is just uh, just a hiking day, uh, but I did want to get this on the video because if you did come back and stay at that campground and was hoping that maybe you could come down this road and you know I just enjoy I thought, there's nothing like riding around in the forest and just seeing exploring and stuff like that. Uh, hopefully you have a cold beer, <laughs> you know. Uh, no, I'm, I'm just kidding. You're not supposed to do that, but uh, but yeah. See, look at this. I mean. I would easily get stuck with those 15 inch tires on the Prius Prime. Um, no way, no way I could come back here. But uh, that's okay, it's good for good for exercise though. You know, if you're gonna, if you're gonna hike, uh, you know, I know a lot of you live on the beach and stuff like that, uh, but you get into this deep sand and uh, it gives you a workout, man. It's, uh, that's what it's all about. You know, who knows where this goes. Look at the vehicles, uh, probably a Jeep came through there. Uh, but yeah, this road, uh, it's, un it's unpassable for me. 
in any vehicle that I have. Hell, I can, even the Kia Sorento might get stuck in here because it's only front wheel drive. I never understand why my wife didn't get all wheel drive, but you know, that was her prerogative. All right, so I'm just about ready to turn back and head on down to the Sunny Hill Restoration Area. I just hike up in there a little ways. I want to see if they've cut that grass. Uh, uh, not along the, the river there. I'm going to do a different section, uh, which goes by that country store. But you can see, uh, this would be uh, this would be crazy to get a vehicle through here unless you've got a, a big truck or uh, you know four wheel drive. Um, I mean, look at that! Holy moly! So uh, I did. Yeah, that's why I do hiking. You know, it's a beautiful thing because I could come back here and kind of see see what's what rather than try to bring a vehicle back here and get stuck and call for a tow. <laughs> you know? So I'm gonna go up over top of this hill, see what I see. I don't think it will make any more video, but I just kind of had to show this road. I mean, you can see, I, I mean, I don't, I don't know what they could do to maybe come back here. Look at these car mats, all kinds of trash, all kinds of illegal dumping along here. Uh, people are such pigs, but, uh, that's all right. I just was out here to get a, a day of exercise and hiking in this deep sand was good for my, my ankles and my legs. And uh, I'm, a, I'm still a little sore from lifting weights for the first time in a year and a half, like I said, in my community. Um, they've gotten over the Fauci guide and uh, we're living our lives now somewhat normally. Uh, no mask is required in the gym anymore. So here comes a vehicle. Let's watch him. This will be fun. I'll get him from the rear. Try to get this on the video. Look at that. Those are four wheel. Look at them. They're just bouncing up in the air. That's crazy. But those are um, uh, little ADVs that he's pulling behind it. Man, didn't even slow down. <laughs> maybe, maybe he just wanted to get some momentum to get through that deep sand. Holy moly. Wonder where he was at with all those ADVs. I mean, it was there's like seven of them on the back of that trailer. That was cool, but boy, did you see that one bouncing up in the air? I'm surprised it didn't fall off. Wow. Yeah, that's how you get out here, man. The things you see, we're gonna, now, you know, now I've got an easy hike for a little while. We'll keep on going. So we had a couple more vehicles go by. Well, you see, you the, one of them had two monster ADVs on the back of it. I wonder what in the world is back here. I wish I could, I, you know, I'd have to have a Jeep to get back here to see what in the world they're doing back here. Look at that. Look at that. You see what I see? I'm bouncing around. Man, that's uh, that's crazy. And they just said, man, I tell you what, they didn't even hardly slow down. They just went right through. Hope the motorcycle's going to be okay. I probably should have hid it better. I just wasn't expecting to see people out. I think I'm going to turn around and uh, head down to the Sunny Hill Restoration Area uh, just because I'm worried about the motorcycle at this point. They could easily throw it on the back of one of those vehicles, uh, you know, and then I'm out of a motorcycle. I guess that's what you carry insurance for. Uh, of course, then at that point, <laughs> can, can you imagine me calling my Democrat wife and telling her to come out here and get me? That would go over real well. All right. So I didn't get a lot of it on the video, but I just kind of want to show you what I see along the way on, out here in the Ocala National Forest. I mean... There was some furniture back there. Uh, hell, one of the chairs looked like it was a decent chair. I don't know why they just dumped it in the woods. But anyway, we're here. And the chariot is still there, thank God. And uh, it's time to call it a day. Head on back. Uh, I know a lot of you, you're like, oh, you're gonna wear your helmet? Yeah, I'm gonna put the helmet on. It's a, it's a long ride and, and you know, when you're doing 60 miles an hour, not that it would save me probably get killed anyway if you, if you went over with the thing but uh time to do it at least you got to see the uh, campground so it opens up october 15th through april 15th uh so um be a fun place to come and uh stay for the night probably see a bear too who knows be sure and feed them <laughs>